हेलो यात्रीस वेलकम बैक टू अवर यात्री क्लाउड सो लेट्स के स्टार्ट विथ अवर फिट ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन रोड मैप एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिमांडिंग एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट इन योर जर्नी वेटर एवर यू आर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर और आर यू क्लाउड एंड डेव ऑफ साइट और इफ यू आर ऑन द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर साइट ओके और मेनली इफ यू आर इन टू द ए आई साइट स्पेशली और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू द ए आई फील्ड सो दिस इज ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज डजेंट मैटर विच पोजिशन आर यू करेंटली सो लेट्स के स्टार्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंट टू शेयर विद यू माई फाइव एव स्किट ऑफ सर्टिफिकेशन जर्नी विच आई हैड डन इन द लास्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर्स सो राइट नाउ And I'm going to share with you the roadmap which you can follow if you are still confused, which I can choose, right? So yes, so stay tuned with me. By end of this video, you will be get to know each and everything's about GitHub certifications, and I'm going to share with you all the information about exam patterns, how you can crack, how much time it takes to prepare, and where you can prepare, right? And lastly, I'm going to share with you the Amazing my journey like how I certified and everything. So yes, subscribe to the Yatri Cloud. Follow me on LinkedIn, and you can join the GitHub Yatri. The link is given in the description. So yeah, let's get start. So firstly, I'm going to just clarify you. Might be it video would be gonna long if I'm covering each and everything. So yes, please watch the full video to get to know everything. Right. So that's it. Just because of I don't want to see your messages like I failed the exam, right? What I should do, and there are too many people who message me on this type of, right? So I would like to say, please focus first year and start a preparation and ask a doubt if you have anything before sitting down into the exam. So yes, just I only concern is that I want to see you the certified in the first attempt. So let me know in the comment box how many of you are going to look into the GitHub certification. Okay, so that would be better to know how many of you are interested. So yeah, let's get stuck. Firstly, GitHub Foundations, as you can see here, the one of the most the core concept certification. If you are new or if you are experienced in the software development or in any cloud or DevOps side or any security or admin side or AI side. Anything, please go with GitHub Foundations first. Take the exam, get to know how you are going to well aware about GitHub concept. Then you can shift into the another exams. Why I'm telling you, if you are not clearing the basic concept which is mentioned in the course, which is mentioned in the syllabus, right? So it might be difficult for you to crack all the exams. It would be co-pilot, actions, security, or admin. Clear. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the how you find out the all the certification concept in a GitHub uh, profile. Okay, I can say the GitHub platform. So yes, I'm going to share with you not only the presentation or explanation, right? I'm going to showcase it to you live. How you are going to find out such options? Okay. So yes, firstly, I'm going to share with you the GitHub Foundations. So I uh, just click on the GitHub Foundations here, and here you can see the certification page, right? So which you will be get after clarify the exam. Clear. So let's talk about first some information about the GitHub certifications before going into the concept. The first one, the exam is not a free, right? If you want a free voucher, you can join us on GitHub Yatri, right? Where you will be getting the chance to get the free certifications in the upcoming days. Secondly, the exams are actually taking around the one or two hours based on the level. And third one, the exams questions are sixty. Okay, it would be vary around maybe sixty two or sixty three like that. But on an average, sixty questions are there. And every questions are MCQ. No practicals are there, so do not worry about. But make sure all the questions are scenario based majority. Let's say give you the one example. So when I completed the GitHub Foundation at that time, 
I know some of the questions. Let's share. Let me share with you. Let me uh, just give you one question. So they asked me around. Let's say you are working on the project and you are going to push the code in a second run. Okay. Now you need to your yeah yeah. Now you need to change the code into the different runs. What you should do, right? So at that time the options are there and the answer is the pull request. So you need to create the pull request. To change your branch into the another one, right? So that is the you know the concept. So it asking like this way, okay? Not directly that what you can do, right? What is the full demo case? No, they are asking the questions like scenario based. Clear? It's a very basic scenario which I share with you, but make sure the complex scenarios are there, right? So yeah. Something about the certifications and the hardness of the certifications are not much. When we are talking about the foundations, admin side, right? But copilot, actions, and security. Those three certifications are much difficult. So please be ready with your practice. Okay. So yeah, let's get start with our GitHub foundation certification. So here. You can see the overview about the kit of certifications. So that's the very basic fundamentals. I'm not going to showcase it to you everything right now. But what I'm going to share with you, what you can do right now. Okay. And what you can plan for your next. So here all the informations are there. Let's say here is the official examples. I'm going to share with you once upon time. And then we can go with next. So here is the official certification page. So let me showcase it to you which skills you are going to measure. So the basic repositories, how you can follow it together via push, via pull command, via merge, everything, right? Runs. All the concepts are covered in the GitHub Foundation. So that is all about the GitHub Foundation, very basic one. And then you can see this is the Foundation's learning path and the study guide, which I already mentioned here. As you can see, the official study guide, the PDF one. So here you can see how many percentage are there in the domain one. This is twenty two percent, and highest the thirty percent. So make sure you can prepare by the exam percentage. Right, it would be help out to you to get, you know, passing score. So next one here is the, all the information. Here is the course which is provided by LinkedIn. So you can check it out if you have a LinkedIn premium. Right. So that is the in-depth explanation about, you know, that domain one, domain two and everything. Okay. Then uh, let me go into back. And here you can see this is the handbook. When I click on the handbook, you will be get to know each and everything about the certification, right? Like overview, you can say how to prepare, how to register. And if you, if you want any technical tips or if you want to, you know, Find out your food, everything I mentioned here. So I mentioned everything into the very simplest way for you. I will share with you this all the documentation in our community. So you can check it out also. So let me first go into the GitHub. So here is our GitHub profile. And here in the my GitHub profile, I'm going to explain you the basic fundamentals, how it looks. So here's the readme file. If you want to create just like me, it's, uh, you know, something kind of interesting. If you see it the first time, just let me know. If you want to create the same one, I'm going to prepare one specific video or hit a video file where I'm going to explain you how to create this. Okay. So, yeah. Next one in the repository, how we are going to create, how to push the code, then how you can create a pull request and how you can merge it and like concept. So, those are those all the concepts are covered in the GitHub Foundations. So, let me go back into the GitHub Copilot. So, here is the Copilot certification program. Here, you need to just give the three points. The set up the Copilot, install into the VS Core. Then, you can you need to enable it to use it. And third one, you need to focus on how you can generate the code. What is the prompt engineering? What is the copilot capacities and everything? How you can integrate the copilot into different, different, uh, you know, connection. So let me go into my VS Core. 
let me okay let me going to be is good first uh yeah so let me show you how github copilot looks really let me you know go into create a one now uh not one file right now let me click on the first upper side you will find out the toggle set so this is a copilot right so if you didn't find out this one what you can do go to the extensions type copilot okay uh, just wait for a few seconds. Here you can see the GitHub Copilot. Right? You need to just click on the restart extension if you are see here. But yeah, need to install first and then you need to just click here. Open the chat. And here you, you can see this is the Copilot one which is accessible right now. And here is the model which you can select any one of them. Right? And nextly, you can click on the agent. This is a recently launched. So click here, agent, and this is you know work for you. It automatically solved the bugs, automatically generate the code, automatically solved the errors and everything. So this is a copilot. Let me ask hi. Okay. So it will be giving you the response directly. So this is the GitHub copilot which is integrated into into the my VS code. So the exam is based on this GitHub copilot totally. Okay. So this is something about uh, Copilot. And nextly, I'm going to share with you about Actions. So now, coming back to the point of the roadmap. First, please go with GitHub Foundation. Then, AI is everywhere. And upcoming future is the AI, as everyone knows. So go with the GitHub Copilot. And after getting the knowledge of AI, you will be go into the GitHub Actions, especially for cloud and DevOps or SRE role side, which you want to get into the particular field. Then you can go with advanced security, right? Why? The time going to give you the answer after this certificate. So in the GitHub Actions, you need to focus on the very basic concept about workflows, secret environments, and everything. As you can see here, okay. So these are some concepts which you can go with the action side, or you need to go with hands on first, right? Just because of in the exam patterns, you need to you need to just you know focus on the question. They are asking what you can change into the workflow. They are giving you the workflow. You need to identify some problems, some add on. You know, some particular packages or any something about your versions. Okay. So let me go into the GitHub. Let me go into the repository. Let me go into any specific one. Voice. Oh, yeah. Let me go into yeah, dude.yatikar.com. Let's say. Okay. So let's go into the setting. And here you can see the add. Uh, let me go into. A uh, workflow. Uh, just a one second. Okay, I will give you directly the workflow how it looks like. I uh, click here. Okay, and here you can see that my workflows are passed right now. Every checks are correct. Let me go into the details. And here you can see this is the jobs, right? And this is the, my particular setup job and checkout and everything. So these all are the my GitHub Actions part. And here you can see the workflow files, right? So how it actually go into the DevOps side, how you can create the one, okay. How you can publish the website, how you can automate the CICD pipelines, right? So that all our concepts covered into the GitHub Actions. So I'm just give you the some, you know, upper side of the Action side, how it looks like. Okay. So this kind of you need to do into the GitHub Actions. So yes. And how you can prepare that all the concepts are covered into this documentation. So nothing worry about it. Okay. Then you can go with advanced security certification. One of the most, I can say the hardest one and the importance ones. So here in the advanced security, what you need to do, you need to focus on the particular configurations, particular secret scanning and dependency management, everything. So, if you know how to work upon the GitHub Actions, right, then you need to integrate the security in your pipeline or in your code base, right? Whether it you are certified AI Copilot or it would be on Action side, but advanced security is there 
in every concept. So let me go into GitHub again and let me go into the settings and here you can see the security portion. So advanced security, deploy keys, secret and variables, everything are here. Let me go into advanced security. Here you can see the dependency graph. Okay. Then some of the dependency related features. Okay. Which you can enable it. That's uh, any checklist or any workflow are not going to pass. Okay. Then you will be getting the notification or something you can automate the process. Okay. You can integrate the triggers to get to know right what happens. Right. So this is the security features you will need to deploy the keys. Okay. Yeah. Right. So everything are security related which you need to integrate into your repository that are here. Okay. So nextly go into the let me, uh, let me go into the particular admin the certificate which is really easiest one uh, as far as I have experience on this. So where if you are the business owner, if you are the entrepreneur or if you are running any organization on GitHub, this is for you, right? Where you are going to create the page on GitHub is not a, your personal account. Okay. So where you are going to manage your or manage your team, manage your projects, users, repositories, the settings. Okay. What person can do, what not. You need to give them read access, write access, maintenance access, right? Anything. So you will be get to know about roles and responsibility plus access management. And also you need to focus on the balance, audit logs and reporting. So this is all of you need to understand about GitHub administrator side. Okay. So that would be might be easy if you are most working with the team management side. Okay. And you can, you know, go at hands on practice. You can create your own organization, right? It's so free. Okay. But in a very limited time of and limited resources, you can store the I guess so maybe a uh, one GB or five hundred MB particular in the organization. I'm not sure. I need to check once the latest update. And lastly, you can see to take the exam. So when you need to go into the exam registration page, okay, at that time you need to apply the voucher code. Or you need to pay $99 to get all the certifications. Okay. And the retake exams are not free. You need to pay again if you are failing to the first time. So make sure you subscribe to Yafi Cloud to get all the learning materials, updates, even tutorial series which we plan the next, but might be takes time. But we definitely give you. Then uh, something you can share me on this. Comment box, join us the GitHub Yatri and best of luck. If you have any concern, any doubt, just do comment or ask into the GitHub Yatri community, please. Okay. Sometimes I miss the messages of your yours. Really sorry for that due to my last hectic schedule. So yeah, as of now, bye bye. See you. Take care and see you into the next video.